In part two, I want to talk about the box midfield Ten Hag employed. Shaw was inverted from left back to create Ten Hag's box midfield. The whole purpose of a box midfield is to create central overload and in theory United could have achieved this against Watford's 4-4-2. The problem with using Shaw as an inverted fullback was it left United with only Garnacho on the left. This allowed Wolves to tuck in from the right and take away the midfield overload from United. Compare that to City who used Stones from centre back to create the box midfield but maintain width on the left with either Ake or Kanji. This stops teams crabbing across in field which helps them maintain the central overload. If Ten Hag wants to use Guardiola tactics, that's fine, but we only looked dangerous in the game when Shaw and Wambazaka got into wide areas. This is an example of United's box midfield with Rashid and Fernandez swapping positions. With only Garnacho on the left, it allowed Semedo and Neto to tuck in and take away the numerical advantage United wanted to create. And when the ball is switched out, it's easy for Wolves to shut the space down and United are forced backwards. This is how City play a box midfield. This is the base of the box and with a Kanji holding his width, Fernandez can't tuck in because it will leave wan overloaded on that side. This leaves Rodri free and one pass beats United's forward line and we can see how the overload stopped Fernandez creeping in field. This example shows what happens when you commit players to the wide areas instead of messing about with box midfields. The opposition get dragged across which opens up the half space and this is one of a few occasions Shaw got forward in a wide area. The devil's verdict is, Gary Neville was spot on in his assessment of Shaw's inverted role, keep it simple, and Carragher was right to question if Ten Hag is using the tactic because it's in fashion. There's no doubt that Ten Hag is a top coach but some of his tactics seem over elaborate especially with the play base we've got. Having said that, I feel Ange Ball is made for United and I expect us to win by a couple of goals. Before I go, a big thank you to all of you who subscribed and recently helped me reach a thousand subs. I'll catch you all in the next one.